So let's go to our fourth word, which is posture. Tell us about posture. Okay, so posture is another sneaky little thing. Um, I am also a yoga teacher, so I like to think about how the body also influences our mental health. Um, and so I think a lot of people understand now, like fight or flight, the sympathetic nervous system, or rest and digest, the parasympathetic nervous system. So fight or flight, and neither of these are good or bad. They both have a purpose. You know, fight or flight gets bad rap, but it's there for a reason. It's there to help us survive. Um, but if you think about how it evolved, how we evolved, we're, it's meant to prepare us to either fight or flight. And so when you do that, you know, your shoulders roll forward, your muscles get really tense, your breathing constricts. And so if you think about that in the opposite way, when we relax our shoulders, release the tension from our muscles, breathe into the deep belly, we're communicating to the brain, I'm safe, right? So it's really important to consider how the postures that you're putting your body into every day influence your mental health. I mean, a lot of people I think are just used to like a baseline level of like aches and pains, which I guess is somewhat normal, but there's a certain level you shouldn't expect to wake up in pain every day, or you shouldn't um, expect to like not be able to have a full range of motion. You know, so really thinking about getting up and stretching. How are you sitting? How's your office workspace positioned? How are you seated on the couch? How much time do you spend sitting? Like to really break out of that mold, literally, that your body's been put into. If I was like anyone else at home, I think we're all just kind of relaxed now. So I appreciate you reminding me of that. Of course, my shoulders are always going up. Okay, Olivia, I like that. Very practical, easy to implement as well. Let's talk about the fifth word, which is breath. Yes. So that definitely ties in to the nervous system. And I think it's one, one of the simplest ways that we can really communicate to our body that we are safe. And it's a pretty quick and effective way to get back to baseline. Now, of course, if you have a mental health disorder, especially an anxiety disorder, breathing, focusing on breath can trigger a little bit of anxiety at first. And so that's the caveat I would give. But for general mental health, just focusing on as much as you can, sending your belly or your, your breath into your belly, and then a long, deep exhale that can really send a cue to the body that you're doing pretty well. Because if you're in a stressful, life-threatening situation, you're probably not breathing that way. So yeah, that's a, that's, it's a really good way. And there's so many different breathing techniques. You don't have to get caught up in all that. Just remember, breathe in my belly as much as possible and try to just extend like a long, slow breath out. All right, I am in Zen, Olivia. Thank you so much. <laughs> For the people at home who maybe liked your tips, want to learn more about you, do you have a website you could direct them to? I do, it's just my name. So oliviaschner.com, O-L-I-V-I-A-S-C-H-N-U-R. Okay, Olivia, I think we've done a lot of good today. Really appreciate you taking the time. Thank you.